Ito po mga kaibigan, uh, ipinagpatuloy ng Committee on Good Government and Public Accountability. Ano ba itong committee ito? Ito po yung parang counterpart ng Blue Ribbon Committee sa Senado. At ang tinatalakay dyan, kung di akong kakamali, pangatlong hearing niya yata ito, pangapat ito, ay yung intelligence pan at confidential pan ng Office of the Vice President Sara Duterte at pati yung Department of Education nung siya ay sekretary pa ng Department of Education. Ang problema, hindi ho talaga dumadalo. Minsan dumalo, nakipagtalo pa at hindi sumagot. Ngayon, hindi na naman dumalo. Kaya ang naiipit ngayon at nahirap na hirap magpaliwanag sa mga kongresista ay ito pong mga taga-kowa. At napapansin ko na parang, parang takot silang sumagot. Parang may pinagtatakpan o minanakot ba sa kanila. Pakinggan po ninyo itong pagtatanong ni Congressman Romeo Akop ng Antipolo dito po ka sa opisyal ng Commission on Audit. Okay. And uh, uh, kayo po ba ay sumasangayon sa akin na yung liquidation uh, is merely a documentary checklist and does not actually show that the expenses are actually reasonable or even true? Would you agree with that? Um, I would have to agree, Mr. Chair. Pakiulit po. Uh, agree po, uh, it's documentary. Uh, it's, uh, Do you agree with my statement, Madam? Yes, Mr. Chen. Thank you. And would you agree also that the confidential funds of the Office of the Vice President are public funds? Uh, yes, Mr. Chen. Thank you. Yes, And would you agree that the uh, COA or the Commission on Audit, your agency, is the agency or government agency which is supposed to be the guardian uh, to see to it that public funds are spent properly. Yes. Um, Would you uh, agree with that also? Yes, Mr. Chen. Thank you. Now, Pakinggan po ninyo itong question and answer na ito. Parang hirap na hirap sumagot or matipid sumagot yung opisyal ng COA. Parang may kinatatakutan. Uh, each confidential funds required as required under joint circular uh, would you also agree with me that uh, the accomplishment report provided by the office of the vice president uh, were 100% implemented pero nang bayan to mr chair uh, what do you mean by 100% implemented po Na-implement ba yung... Uh, nagamit ba yung pera? Ano ba yan? Tinatanong lang kung nagamit ba yung pera. As confidential fund or of the office of the vice president. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. The entire 125 million was liquidated. And would you agree with me that the, the documentary pieces of evidence submitted by the office of the vice president were merely acknowledgement receipts? Would you agree with me? The documentary evidence of payment, yes, Mr. Chair. Yes, and could you give me uh, and the specifics in so far as uh, the acknowledgement receipts submitted uh, for the uh, expenses uh, in so far as the uh, confidential fund of the OB is concerned? Could you give us how much is for the rental of safe houses? Yeah. Yung mga, mga, may mga safe house yung binayaran eh. May mga safe house na ginamitan ng pera. Do we have the number of acknowledgement receipts submitted by the OVP? Uh, for, for what account, Mr. Chen? Rental of safe houses. For rental for the period fourth quarter 2022 po. Yes. It's 16 million Ang hina ng boses ng babae na. Yes, Mr. Chair. The rental is for 11 days? Uh, Would you agree with me? Yes, Mr. Chair. Since the accomplishment report... Uh, Pursuant provides... to the accomplishment report, the yung amount uh, for the rental of safe houses were paid for 11 days. Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Mm -hmm. Tama po? Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. How about... Uh, and how many acknowledgement receipts were submitted for this? Uh, Mr. Chair, for rental of safe houses, 
uh, we received 34 uh, acknowledgement receipts. How da about for Dami warehouse niya na? Safe house. Expense. What was the amount and the, the number of acknowledgement receipts submitted for its liquidation? Um, for transportation, uh, it's 10 million and the number of recipients is 72. 72 acknowledgement receipts? Yes, Mr. Chair. Now, for the purchase of information, the same requirement? Mr. Chair? Ilan pong, ilan pong, makano po yung sa purchase of information? For the purchase of information based on the Magkano, bayad. evidence of payment, it's 14 million and the number of recipients is 142, Mr. Chair. Okay. And for, there are two items for rewards for medicine and various goods. Tama po. Uh, Mr. Chair, there are actually three. Three? It's payment of reward, payment of reward medicines, and payment of reward various goods. What would be the amount uh, allotted for each of the three? Uh, based on the documentary evidence of payment, for payment of reward, it was 10,050,000. For medicines, yun? For reward lang. For reward lang. Reward lang. 50,000. Okay. Um, for the payment of reward medicines, it's twenty four million nine hundred thirty nine hundred thirty thousand. And for the third? And for the payment of reward various goods, um, it's thirty four million eight hundred fifty thousand eight hundred fifty seven thousand, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Ah, uh, Komsek, pwede po bang, Komsek, pwede po bang pakita natin yung sample na acknowledgement receipt uh, for the payment of... Well, ang pinag-uusapan po dito yung budget ng Office of the Vice President nga tsaka ng Department of Education ng mga panahong yon, Kasi ang, pinag ang pagdududa rito ng Kongreso, baka maling ginamit, mali ang pinaggamitan. Na ito kasi napapag-usapan, may mga safe house o warehouse o safe house. Ano ba nilalagay sa mga safe house na yan? Napakalaki po nang na-discover dyan na mayroong ang bayad, 45,000 per day. Ganun kalaki. 45,000 ang safe house. Mas mahal pa sa hotel. Ano ba yung safe house na yan? Ano ba nilalagay dyan? Dyan ho nagdududa ang mga congressman, especially ang Committee on Good Government and Public Accountability kung saan nagamit yung confidential pan at uh, intel pan ng Office of the Vice President at Department of Education noong panahon yun. Under Sara Duterte. So, hindi po tumitigil ang kongreso ng pagtatanong tungkol dyan. Ang COA, hirap na hirap sumagot. Alam niyo, may purusun dyan na nagalit na si Congressman Akop eh. Bakit ba hirap na hirap kang sumagot? Dati napaka-active mo sumagot. Pero ito lang huwag tip ko sa inyo. Ha? Tip ko lang ito sa inyo. Ha? Para may idea kayo. Alam niyo ang COA, humiso ng audit, ang chairman po dyan, six years ang term, kasi constitutional body yan. At alam ba ninyo na ang kasalukuyang chairman dyan ay identify sa mga Duterte? Yun yung dating commissioner ng National Telecommunication. Yan yung nagpasara, nagpatupad ng utos ng gobyerno noon na isara ang ABS-CBN. Ah, yun pong commissioner ng National Telecommunication, yan ang ginawang chairman ngayon ng commission ng audit. Hindi ko alam kung alam ito ng ating Pangulo na uh, ang identity niyan sa akin pong uh, interpretation at opinion ito ay bata ng mga Duterte ito ay malapit o ito ay identify na opisyal sa Duterte administration ay ginawang kowa ngayon chairman ay sino bang iniimbestigahan kanino bang pera ang tinatanong ay di ba pera ng ano di ba pera ng uh, pera ng office of the vice president so at least meron kayong idea kaya kung inyong mapapansin hirap silang magsalita at kung yung mga gunita nung nakarang hearing, naka, mayroong in-expose na sa hearing na yan na mayroong order ang chairman sa kanila or opisyal ng COA na maging maingat sa pagbibigay ng detalye dahil iniimbestigahan pa. So, yun, na, binangit ko lang. Nasa inyo na yan kung inyong iniisip. Inuulit ko, identify sa Duterte administration ang, ang kasalukuyang chairman ng Commission on Audit.
at ang iniimbestigahan at inaalam ng Kongreso ay budget na ginamit ni Vice President Sara Duterte nung siya ay nasa DepEd pa at noong controversial na confidential fund ng Office of the Vice President nung nakaraang mga taon. Ayun po yun. May na kayo. Kaya tayo ay dapat magka-interest dito kasi pera ng bayan ito. Hirap na hirap ang mga Pilipino. Pero nakakalulang milyon-milyon ang kanilang gastos. Kasulad nung safe house na yan. 45,000 pesos per day ang bayan. Ano ba nilalagay dyan? O baka naman pinalabas lang ang nagastos. Yun naman pala hindi. Kasi nga, confidential pan. Something wrong talaga ha? Pero, pera ng bayan, may karapatan kayo. Hanapin at malaman ito. Kaya ate sinusubaybayan pa rin. Thank you sa committee on public account. Kaya nga, good government and public account. Public accountability. Ayan po ang committee niya. Under Congressman Joel ba? Koa ng Maynila. Ayan. Please like, subscribe, and follow sa hindi pa. Pero pakilike po ninyo at pakishare po ninyo sa inyong mga kaibigan ang mga video pinag-uusapan natin dito.